Hey guys, I'm Nat. I'm a full-time student and a part-time barista model. Recently, I've been starting to get into this healthy eating thing, so that's why I'm here at Signature Market today to show you how to cook a nutritious recipe called Ang Ang One Pan Scallop Millet. So what is this millet? The main star of the dish is actually known for its nutrients and it's really good for your body because it has iron, protein, and minerals such as calcium and magnesium. The daily consumption of this millet can honestly work wonders. This nutrient-based and dense millet is filled with high fiber which can help with weight loss. But always remember guys, it's good to stay healthy and fit rather than thin. Now, moving on to the ingredients. We have scallops, signature market macadamia nuts, basil, lemon, crushed tomatoes, baby carrots, onion and garlic, paprika, and of course, the star of the dish, really. Alright, so now we're gonna play a game. So this is called the Black Box Challenge. I'm supposed to pick one, and hold on, let me just read it out for you. There are a total of five capsules in this black box. Each capsule will represent a type of utensil. Now proceed to draw one item from the black box, and the utensils you have chosen will be used throughout the video. All the best. Wish me luck, guys. Spatula with holes! Okay, so I'm not the best at cooking, but using spatula with holes, I think it's pretty simple. So I'm not too worried. Okay. okay, so now that we have all our ingredients, let's get to cooking. So first, add some olive oil to a preheated pan. And then I'm gonna add the garlic and onion. I'm just gonna let it simmer and get all the juices out real quick. You're kind of looking for a little bit brownish, not burnt, but just caramelized, a really nice golden color. Okay, once you can smell it, I'm just gonna add the baby carrots and I'm gonna saute them. Okay, now, so next, I'm just gonna add the millet along with the seasoning. So I'm just going to put it first. You can season it too however you like. If you like it more pepperish, you can always add more. Some salt. Every time I look at salt, I can only think of the salt day. You know that video of the guy going with this. Yeah. And clearly like, what is life without spices, you know? So I'm just gonna add a pinch of paprika. Or two. Just for some seasoning. Okay. It smells amazing, guys. I'm gonna add the chicken stock first. You don't have to add all of it. You just have to add it till it covers the majority of the millet. Like, yeah. So what this does, right, um, the millet is basically going to soak up all the chicken stock and it's going to be like really infused. And I'm going to add the tomatoes. I'm just going to add all of it. Remember to stir well, okay? So once you stir it well, the last item that you have to add, remember this step, guys. Do not add the scallop first because it cooks really easy, it's really thin, so like it cooks really fast and really easy. So if you add it too soon, it'll be overcooked and nobody likes like overcooked scallops. So once it starts to bubble, you can just add in the scallop. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> you can mix it well and put it to the sides and all that so it doesn't get direct heat. You're just gonna cover it, let it simmer for like 15 minutes over medium heat. It's really important to remember to, while it's simmering, to open the lid and stir it once in a while because if not, it's gonna get stuck in the bottom, it's gonna get burnt. Right now, now that you mixed it already, right? Just add in some basil. You can add as many as you want. I'm just gonna add in everything. Some lemon. Squeeze. <laughs> Mix it in one more time. 
Then close the lid and let it simmer for about another five minutes. So I think that's about five minutes, right? Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Wow, I can't wait to try this. So, the next thing we're, not, we're gonna do is we're gonna plate this. I'm gonna use a very like chef savvy technique which is basically... So if you've ever wondered how they always got like the rice to look really pretty on the plate and all that, the secret is actually a bowl. So what you're going to do is take millet and just pack it into the bowl. By doing this right, when you pack it in, when it comes out, it's going to take shape of the bowl and it's so pretty, honestly. And don't worry if you overpacked it because you can always just like swipe it out and stuff. Alright. This is a nerve-wracking part. I've never done this before. This is my first time, so I'm just gonna carefully. Take the plate, put it on top, and flip it over. Okay. Hopefully this turns out really nicely. Oh my god, it's so pretty! Okay, see? You see how it turns out? Okay, so. It took exactly the shape of the bowl and it's so pretty, oh my god. Guys, I did this. <laughs> okay, so once you've plated already, just add some toppings of the macadamia nuts. It's so simple, honestly. You can put it on the top, you can even plate it like that. I'm just gonna put it on the side for just, you know, savvy. Okay, okay now we've plated it. Time to try. So, you wanna get like, all the things. So you want to get the scallop, the millet, as well as the macadamia nuts. Okay, so I just took it out, so it's gonna be hot. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, wow. guys, it's so good, honestly. So yeah, it's such a simple recipe to prepare. There was so little ingredients, and it was literally just one pan and one utensil. And you had a flavorful dish that was so impactful, so full of flavor, so full of textures. I guess this is the end of the video, guys. And here's a little fun game that we shall play. What utensil was I using throughout the whole video? I thought that you can't rewind. Try to think back. I at least mentioned it like five times. Comment down below the utensil I was using and like let me know your favorite millet recipes, you know, that you'd like me to try. And here's the catch, guys. The best comments will get... Ta-da! A Mr. Gift from Signature Market. And like, what is inside? I don't know. But honestly, it's so worth it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below your favorite millet recipe and the utensil I was using. And my socials will be linked down below as well. Give it a follow and remember to subscribe if you really like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!